The Fractured Staff of Armadal Rebalance beta is finally here, and everyone's dying to know what's happening with the strongest weapon in the entire game. I spent three hours testing it out earlier today and comparing the rebalanced Fractured Staff of Armadal to the live game, so you don't have to. And here's everything that I found and everything you need to know about this rebalance. First off, what was actually changed? Well, there were a few main things. For starters, instead of an auto attack when you crit, you now get an ability damage proc. This proc does less damage than an auto attack, but it also doesn't cost runes, and because it's based on your ability damage and it isn't an auto attack, you're no longer punished for using dual wields. In the live game, if you camp dual wields and you get a critical strike, you're gonna get a super weak wand auto attack. Because this change now makes your Fractured Staff of Armadal damage based on your ability damage, you're no longer staff locked, and you can freely swap between a staff or use a wand and an orb. Because of this, the backbone of the new optimal Fractured Staff of Armadal rotation is Greater Concentrated Blast. It's an extremely strong ability with a short cooldown, and it synergizes extremely well. Not only do you get three small hits that all have a chance to crit, but you get increased crit chance with each hit as well. This is by far the biggest change, as it fundamentally changes the way that you're going to approach a rotation. Outside of that absolutely massive change, there are two other minor things that do make a difference to your rotation. The first is that critical strike procs are no longer recursive. What this means is if you crit, which rolls a fractured staff of armadal proc, that proc will then not have the ability to then crit and then launch another proc on itself. This is a fairly significant change because in the live game, you'd get these crazy moments where your crit would crit itself over and over and over again, and you just drop 100,000 damage in two seconds. This will no longer be possible. The one other noteworthy change is that your Fractured Staff of Armadal crit attacks will not carry spell effects anymore. How this works in the live game is any spell that you currently have active will be launching every time you roll a critical strike. So if it's a spell like Blood Barrage that has an area of effect, every time you crit, you get that area of effect and you'll also get that heal. This will also no longer be the case. Now that we've discussed which changes have actually been made, let's do some math and some actual damage testing. For starters, let's use the Fractured Staff of Armadal in a low effort way, with no Fortic auto attacking and minimal switching, because that's how most people are going to use it after the change. To test this out, I did a series of full sunshine rotations with the Fractured Staff of Armadal. First, staff camping the entire thing, and then using my Fractured Staff of Armadal special attack and swapping to dual wields for the entire duration. The average damage in the live game for dual wield camping was 333,000 and the average damage in the live game for staff camping was 320,000 in one sunshine. Here's where things get interesting. In the combat beta, the average damage staff camping was 310,000, so a little bit under what it was in the live game. But the average damage dealt dual wield camping was all the way up at 360,000, which is a significant boost from what was possible before these changes. This can be attributed to the change from auto attacks to ability damage. In the live game, you're punished for using a wand and orb, and in the combat beta, you are not punished at all. Actually, you're rewarded. So that's really interesting. In the lower effort rotation, as long as you're willing to swap to dual wield after casting your Fractured Staff of Armadal special, you're going to gain a significant amount of damage over what was possible in the live game. Now that we've looked at a lower effort rotation, let's get a little sweaty. Next up, a fully optimized, full effort Fractured Staff of Armadal rotation, both in the live game and in the proposed beta. The findings here were also very interesting, as the average damage in the live game was 390,000, and the average damage in the combat beta was all the way up at 410,000, so 20,000 more damage than what was averaged in the live game. This is a slight increase in overall damage output, but it does come at the cost of a significantly higher APM or actions per minute, because the new rotation uses a bit of auto attack weaving. For anyone curious, the rotation I was using in the beta is on screen. It's not 100% optimized, so in the coming weeks it may not come out as the proper best rotation to use, but it should be up there, and it's a very solid rotation that was corroborated with some of the better PVMers in the game. By far the biggest finding in all of this was the significant increase in consistency after the changes. Almost every sunshine was within a few percent, whereas in the live game, the discrepancy between the best and worst sunshine rotation was absolutely massive. This is, in my opinion, a good thing because relying on RNG to complete a phase or a DPS check feels absolutely terrible. This data was also supported by Pup, who went and did 30 Raksha kills on the beta and 30 in the live game. His kill times were almost identical across both, but they were significantly more consistent in the beta. You'll notice the difference between his quickest and his slowest kill in the beta was about 20 seconds, and it's actually a full minute in the live game. 
Based on these findings, if you're an endgame PVMer doing a sweaty rotation, for a noteworthy amount of extra effort, you will be able to deal slightly more damage than you could before. And if you're someone who's doing a lower effort fractured staff of armor rotation, you should gain a very significant damage increase without a significant amount of extra effort. By far, the most significant change here is the lack of spell specific effects that will fire off every single time you get a crit. In the live game, there's a technique where after you use your Fractured Staff of Armadale Special, you'd swap to Blood Barrage and watch as the autos shoot your life points all the way to max. This won't really be a thing after the proposed changes, meaning survivability will be a little bit more of a factor at some high level bosses. The same can be said at a boss like Angel of Death, where the current meta is to swap to Blood Barrage spells that have an AoE. You can stack up all the minions and watch as your recursive crit autos absolutely clear them. Overall, I don't really have a hot take here. I know I'm a content creator and I'm supposed to say this is great or this is the best or this is terrible, but I thought the changes would be a lot more harsh and limiting and they don't really seem to be. I think based on the numbers, this proposed change is completely fine. I like that being able to spam greater concentrated blast brings up the skill floor, and if this is something they need to make more better content relating to magic, I'm all for it. But as always, I'm gonna pass the question off to you all. What do you guys think?